Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Sarah. And we're the Global Geezers. We are going on a day trip from Prague to a place called Terracine, which was a concentration camp slash um, propaganda city that was built by the Nazis to contain and transport, later transport, Jews into death camps. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, it's going to be an emotional day. It'll be long. It'll be heavy. Yeah. But we know that those of you that either haven't been here or maybe would like to see something like this, uh, we wanted to be able to share it and show you what we were seeing and experiencing. Yeah. This is our first experience with something like this, so it'll be interesting. Yep, it will. But we're going to be taking you along, so yeah. here we go. So let's go. Someone forgot her phone. She's all, she's all put together today. There you go. There you go. All right, onward. Prague Station. Got our tickets. Get on the train, I guess. All right, one thing I learned, there's no Uber here. Taxis are limited. The bus comes once every hour or so. So you get to walk. It's about 1.2 mile walk from the train station to the museum. So we are actually walking to the museum right now. It takes about 30 minutes, it says, on Google Maps. We shall find out how long it takes us as we walk through the town. So we're walking from the train station to the Terrasin Memorial. And check this out. A little garden area. So this looks like it's turning into a pretty little walk. At first we were by open fields. Then we passed a auto garage area. And now we've turned off the main road into the, I don't know, it said Zona something, so. This is the old fortress of Terrazin. The old moats. It was for Christians, yes, but it was for Christians who under Nuremberg laws were considered Jews. Because it was if you were one eighth Jewish, so any one of your grandparents, the Nazis said that you were Jewish. You were then. and we haven't even gotten to the memorial yet. These old city walls of Terrazin are pretty cool. They kind of extend around the entire city. These tracks are the tracks that were used for the boxcars. Walking through this entire area is 
very, I don't know, just kind of catches you right here, you know? That people were herded like animals into places like this. And we haven't even gotten to the visitor center. It's just walking through this section over the railroad tracks that come into it is just, you know, what happened and they never came out except to be taken to the death camps from here. Here the railroad tracks. And this is part of the town that was built. This is the museum. We need to go around the corner over there. This is the small fortress museum. They do have a museum in here. second stop or third stop we just keep getting passed on so now we're getting passed on to that direction over there and we'll see where it takes us and see who sends us somewhere else probably better to do an organized trip here because most of them don't speak English at all that would be my advice these walls are so cool So we're hoping that this is the place to get in because we've been walking a long way. But we shall see, we could be wrong. That wasn't it. So now we're headed over to the small fortress. We think that's it. We think this is where the buses just stop and park. But the cemetery is still over here too. So this is a Christian and Jewish cemetery. They're actually filming a movie here, period piece, about the death camp. Well, it's not death camp, but encampment. We are going into the women's area. This is where they kept the women, but it's not part of the tour. So we're gonna go ahead and explore this ourselves. This yard was established in June 1942 as a woman's prison department with the cells and everything. It wasn't until 1944 that they actually put a bathroom in this area. Ugh, two years with no bathroom in this whole area. That's just in inhumane. Replica of Prisoner's Laundry of the Police Prison in the Small Fortress Terrace. Some of the characters in their outfits that are filming. This was the main section where people came into to get divided. This is the Nazi slogan to the Jews. Work will make you free. Ah. This is the men's prison. We viewed the women's prison first, but this was where the men were held. This was the luxury quarters. Yeah, 40 to 100 people. 40 to 100 people per room. Yeah, with, with 
one bathroom. Those are the doors, the window doors to the interrogation cells that they would make completely dark. They just shut it if they didn't want to give them light. The private cells, interrogation cells. There's the window and they would seal that up to make this completely black. This was supposed to be for the Jewish men to come in and shave and stuff like that. It was never used. It was only used for propaganda. Because uh, problem with the lies and problem with diseases, it was not problem only for prisoners, but it was later also a big problem for Nazis because Nazi soldiers, they were in contact with people. The showers. <laughs> Five minutes of cold water, even in the winter. This was built as a fort back in the 1800s, and this was the moat, but they also built underground tunnels, which we're going into. We are going down below. It's cooler down here. This was originally built with bricks, and then they concreted it over in areas to fortify it. So we are on another side of the moat, or what used to be the moat area, separating the other section of the fortress. We are now in the tunnel which surrounded all fortress around. Who constructed the design of Italian. this fortress? Italian? Italian. Yeah, it's, it, it's but the we walk French the whole style of fortification. Whole thing all around. Uh, but designed by Italians. This is the execution spot. They didn't do gas here, but they did still execute some people. Public. Gallows. Okay, this is where the Nazi officers lived. Their house, they had a cinema, whole families would live here. And they used that area back through there as like a picnic area, other than the execution area. They even had a swimming pool. Wow. Constructed in 1892. This area was built late, like 1943, and it housed 600 people. And it's preserved how it was done, including the windows. German glass, which let the heat in during the summer and let the cold in during the winter. So it was basically worthless. Isolation cell. Built in 1943. Built during the war, so they had a wash bin. They had a toilet and a cot. There's the entrance. And there's the guard tower right on top. Uh, that's where the prison commandant and the officers lived.
Thank mm-hmm. you.